again and welcome. We're still on the theme of colour and for this project today I'm calling it the majesty of red. Now red is a really glorious colour and today's uh, video to be honest is a bit of a field experiment but I thought it would show it to you anyway. I wanted to find out what would happen if I layered alcohol inks on top of my normal inky background um, so I guess I found out. I also uh, experimented using the heavier Yuppo card and really the idea was to create a thick layer of alcohol ink so that I could then um, print on top of the previously um, made background and instead of it being a blank piece of white card it was obviously a colourful background that the alcohols were being um, printed onto. Now, when I did a practice run, it was a lot um, brighter and nicer than uh, the one I ended up with, of course. <laughs> so, um, and I'll show you that at the end. But I ran with it and tried to salvage it and came up with something. So, this is it. So, uh, as usual, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already done so and uh, really uh, appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and as always I love it when you leave me a comment and I reply to all of them so um, let's make a start and we'll first of all look at the materials for this project so uh, to begin with we've got the lovely salvage patina the new ink spray and we've also got it in the distress oxide along with crack pistachio. I think I have, yes, I have the Lindy's Gang Mica Spray. It's a lovely greeny blue colour. And I'm also using more Distress Oxide and Twisted Citron, uh, Kitsch Flamingo and Squeezed Lemonade. You can see also the um, packaging there for the heavy Yupo um, paper. That's the heavy car cardstock. And also, of course, multifarious um, mixed media card. I'm also using alcohol inks for this project, and it's mainly pinks and reds because of the poppies. But I'm also uh, combining it with some um, gold metallic um, alcohol ink. Um, also, we've got the alcohol li lift ink and the alcohol blending solution, and you'll see how I use those later on. Uh, as always, these days I am loving my pan pastels. I've got it there in black. And you can see the red also, permanent red. Uh, some purple and that one's a violet. Uh, that's magenta. We also have that beautiful uh, blue-green, which is phalo green shade a very bright green which is called bright yellow green. For stamping and we've also got the distress ink in salvage patina but we've also got nocturne and the upside down wild sorry warm breeze and also a monarch so that's for the stamping. We've got uh, the iridescent gold from Golden, some water. I'll be doing some stamping with the gold paint. We've got a few of our favourite pens. We've got the gold glitter, the yellow and the white from Uniball Signal. A couple of paint pens, one in green and the Posca in lovely poppy red. We've got some tools out for the pan pastels and also the lovely blending brush from Lavinia Stamps. I've got a few of those and they're really beautiful. I have my um, battery powered eraser and my blending tool for the alcohol inks. And I think that's about it. We'll now look at the stamps. We've got uh, the wild poppies, the poppy pods, the field grass, the group poppies and the flock of ducks which um, was stamped upside down at first. <laughs> so we're starting now with the background and the multifarious card and we're just doing our normal ink sprays and our ink sandwich 
just uh, the, the standard beginning and then we'll see that's where it all goes pear shaped <laughs> So you can see that I'm adding a rather thick layer on top of the Yopo card and building that up, um, hoping to transfer as much red and pink to the ink spread background as possible. Um, I'm also, uh, just in a minute, going to be adding some alcohol lift ink. There we are. Now, normally when Tracy does this, she brayers it across the whole thing, which is a very wise thing to do. But I decided to experiment and just put blobs of it and mix it with the solution. But now you can see there I'm attempting to make a print of it onto the normal standard card, not the alcohol card. And as I say, it's onto a coloured background rather than a white, just to see what happens. Now it wasn't too bad, but I found that if you added more blending solution, it got a little paler and lighter. And then if you pop some uh, neat alcohol ink on top, it gave a rather nice effect, like haze, hazy poppies in the background. So there you are. Um, it's not how I'd hoped it would turn out. I got a bit of kitchen towel and roughly padded that on for some foliage. And now I'm going to blend some more ink to enhance the colour of the sky.
Now you can see the picture has been trimmed down and framed with uh, some complimentary card. I've added in a few dots of course with my yellow and white pens to add some extra interest and atmosphere to the background, though it is rather busy as it is, but I think it did lighten it and give it an extra little touch. So I think it turned out okay. It's uh, needing yes some ducks <laughs> so the final stamp I just felt it needed something at the top there so I just added those in 
and that was fine. And I'm going to show you the original tryout that I did with this technique. And it was a very rough stamp, uh, but I really liked the paler version of the alcohol ink print. It's always the way. The first one is better than the real thing, but I just wanted to show you that it can turn out actually quite well. Um, so that's it, folks. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.